Okay, um, last time we recorded this, uh, almost, almost hit that nine minute mark. Uh, let's see if I can minimize that. So, <sighs> recap. All right, so for the last week of June, and I'm counting this recap as a part of June because we've only really been two days into July. So, um, for this week, lots of spreadsheets, lots of planning and mapping things out. And um, that's mostly because just as the week went on, we were just bombarded with, in my position, just crap after crap after crap. So, SCOTUS gonna SCOTUS. The Supreme Court is just gonna do what they was just gonna do what they do, and we have to deal with it. Great. Elon Musk is being weird with Twitter again, and. You know, it'll be interesting. I wonder if I'm one who will burn through 600 posts or if I'll even notice. Like maybe I'm I don't even do 600 in a day. Like maybe I'm I just only reach like 400 or something or even less. We'll find out. So it'll be interesting to do just like a quick stress scroll. I have been doing a little like theory poking around in uh, certain things that have been offered in Fortnite. Not much to talk about that for now. You know, it's not gonna, nothing's really gonna come about until like a few months have passed. Um, so not much to talk about there, besides that the poking and the sifting through information has started this week. I have picked up a subscription to gain access to a bit of software called BikuBot. It's a TTS program, text-to-speech, that goes a bit farther than reading off text input in some robotic monotonous tone. I have seen others set it up so that it can pitch, change pitch, like mid-sentence. It can slow down, speed up, even like do kind of like a whisper little effect to hilarious effect. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm tinkering around with the program to just understand what I can do, where the limitations are, and just kind of seeing what sort of unintended things I might be able to sort of squeeze out of this program. And as a quick example, Right now, it's geared toward and the programming's targeted for Twitch streams and streamers. As YouTube has a more sort of finicky API, or so I'm told, I have no grounds to really speak on this area. It's just way out of my intelligence range. But I think I have a janky workaround so that it can work with YouTube. But first, I have to educate myself with BikuBot to see where I can go and before I can test theories that I have on paper. On topics less important, Fall Guys progress challenges are improved from previous years now that I've played a couple rounds for a few days. Uh, however, one challenge sort of defines the idea of grindy. So I have never been okay with simply start up the thing six times or five times, whatever. Like, I'm okay with succeed or get past five stages or seven stages, because if you load up a game, you can go through, like, seven stages, right? Um, but the other is just a time sink. Like, get this, right? So with this challenge, the basic way to, or the fastest way to sort of get it done is to start the game, load level one, then AFK, let all the other players, you know, cross the finish line so that you lose, you get dumped back into the lobby, you start the game, rinse and repeat. There's no, it doesn't drive you to play the game, you know, you just load in, lose, dump back into lobby, do it all again. And that's frustrating to me. You know, bring back, jump 16 times, uh, grab grab an opponent, like, uh, what was it, 15 times or something? I hated that one, for the record, but I would like that one more than this current challenge that exists. 
Tears of the Kingdom is going amazingly. It, it is my kind of escapism. It's my favorite way to just sort of zone out uh, whenever I have some free time. It's like a long fantasy road trip to me. You know, you have you have your main goal, but just getting there, you have all these little side things. You know, the quirky little gas station, the interesting little fruit stand, the the knickknack shop, <laughs> and that's been June. So I guess we're on to July. Goodbye. <laughs>